so hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to add a kml file into rgis online so now let's get started so now i'm going to open a new tab here in my browser in the third section i'm going to enter as rgis online so now i have entered as rgis online now click enter and now click the first result rgis online so this is the official platform of rgis online so now i'm going to sign in so in my previous video, I have shown you how to uh, create an RGS online account and the link for the video will be given in the description section. So now I'm going to sign in here. So now I'm going to enter my username and password. So once you entered as your username and password, I'm going to click this option called keep me signed in. And now I'm going to click this option called sign in. So now uh, we're going to click this option called map here. We're going to select map. So this is the RGI's online interface. Uh, now in the left hand section, uh, you can able to see we have uh, different options starting from add layers, tables, base map, legend, bookmarks, chart, save and open and map properties. So now we're going to select this first option called add. So in that uh, we have this uh, two different options here, add a layer from URL or add a layer from file. So to add a KML file into RGI zone line. So we're going to click this option called add a layer from file. So once you did that, uh, a new window pop up saying add layer. So drag and drop your file or a choose an option. So supported file format or CSV. GeoJSON and KML file format. So uh, we're going to select a KML file from your device. For example, I'm going to select a KML file from my device. So I'm going to click this option called your device. So now we'll navigate to the folder location where you have saved your KML file. For example, I'm going to navigate to my folder location where I've saved my KML file here. So for example, I'm going to select this particular KML file called Alaska. So let me select this. And now I'm going to click open. So now uh, in this section here, we have add layer and the title I have going to given as uh, Alaska USA and the folder I have chosen is TerraSpatial RGI is online. And also you can create your folder of your choice by clicking this option here. And uh, you have to create this option called create a new folder. So now I'm going to enter a new folder name here. So now I have entered the folder name as country boundaries. Now navigate this option. I'm going to click tick mark here. And now a new folder is created. So I'm going to select this particular folder called the country boundaries. So I've selected country's boundary. And you can also give it a tag to this particular layer. For example, I'm going to mention this Alaska USA. And the next tag I'm going to mention as Alaska. I'm going to click enter and in a summary you can uh, give a short description about this particular uh, KML file. So I have given us uh, Alaska USA. So you can write a short description about this particular uh, KML file. And the next step we're going to click this option called create and add to the map. So it's going to upload our uh, Alaska KML into RGI's online. So now a layer is created here. So now we're going to navigate the second option called layers. So now here you can able to see we have Alaska USA. I'm going to drag this down here. So now we can able to see here. This is of Alaska USA. And this is how we can able to add your KML file into RGIs online. So in the layer section, I can able to see the second option here. So this is of a layer section and this is of a layer called Alaska USA. And we have this option here. So to hide this la layer, I'm going to click this option. So now to unhide it, I'm going to click this option again. And now here we have another option called with three dots here. So I'm going to click this. So we have this three different, uh, we have this options called zoom to layer, show properties, rename, remove and group. So I'm going to click the first option here, zoom to layer. Let me zoom in here. And the second option is show properties. I'm going to click this option called show properties. 
So in the right hand section, uh, you can able to see the details about this particular the KML data set here. So you can able to see here. So uh, in the appearance section, you can also adjust the tra transparency here. So you can able to see here. We can adjust the transparency of this particular layer. So next option is uh, you can set the visibility range for this particular layer based on the map scale. So you can adjust this particular scale according to your choice here. So in order to uh, set the visibility of this particular KML uh, layer. For example, the current visibility, you can able to see the visibility changes here. As I am uh, zoom in, so the visibility which is indicated here in this arrow section here, you can able to see that. So you can just adjust according to your choice using this option here for example you can able to see here I'm going to drag this and similarly you can adjust the visibility here starting with the room level to uh, rooms small building buildings streets neighborhood and uh, city you can set the visibility range according to your choice similarly the visible range uh, here starting with the world level and uh, next is continent and country states and counties and metropolitan areas so likewise you can set the visibility of your layer in rgis online so now the third option is uh, we have to rename so uh, you can rename this particular uh, shape file or the kml file we have uh, imported into rgis online so you can re uh, enter the name of this particular uh, kml file and they can use it for example i'm going to mention as alaska usa county so i'm going to mention as alaska usa state so now i mentioned the title as alaska usa state and i'm going to click ok so now we can able to see that we have managed to change the name of this particular layer alaska usa state and uh, the fourth option is to remove this particular layer so we can uh, remove this particular layer using this pro option called remove so uh, in this video i have shown you uh, how to add a kml file into rgis online so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like